Let's take a look at using PowerShell's replace method and replace operator to make some changes to some strings. So in this demo, I'll be using PowerShell 7, uh, but I expect this would work in po Windows PowerShell as well. So here on line three, we're starting with a very basic string, hello, comma, world. I'm gonna go ahead and assign that to the string variable. And the simplest use case for the replace method is just gonna be to replace hello with hi. And so after string, you see we have the dot replace that uh, tells PowerShell that we're running that replace method. And then inside of the parentheses, we have hello, which is a string to replace, comma, hi, which is a string to replace it with. So if we run line six, we'll get hi world instead of hello world. And one really interesting thing to note here, so line nine, you notice we don't actually need the string to be in a variable. We can directly call the replace method on the string itself. So line nine, I'm doing the same thing, but no variable. Hi world. And if you wanted to remove hello from the string, you can leave the string to replace it with blank, as in like we were doing here on line 12. And you notice down below that now we just get comma world. And what's also really cool about the replace method is that since it returns a string, we can do multiple replaces on the same line. So here on line 15, we're replacing the hello with nothing, and then we're playing replacing world with earth. So the output on that is simply comma earth, since we don't have a hello and then world became earth. So another way to replace strings in PowerShell is to use the replace operator. And this is similar to the replace method, except for a couple of differences that we'll cover. So here on line 21, we're gonna replace hello with nothing, and we get just comma world. But with the replace operator, if we wanna remove text, we don't need to include the second string. So here on line 24, we get the same exact results without the extra empty string. And again, like the replace method, we can chain multiple replace operators together and get the same results. In this case, we replace hello with hi, so we get hi earth. But the big difference between the replace method and the replace operator is that the replace operator uses regular expressions. So what that means is here on line 32, we can use a regular expression to find everything that matches the, t the regular expression in the first string with whatever we, put in the second string. So in this case, I'm replacing hello or hi, because that pipe in regular expression is an or, and I'm replacing them both with goodbye. And so in this case, we get goodbye world. Another example, simple example here is we have now hi world, and we have the same regular expression, so hello or hi, followed by the same replacement string. And we get the same exact output. And again, it's because that pipe is that or in regular expression. But because it, they are regular expressions, there are things that you might not expect. So here on line 38, looking at this, you would think that it would replace the hello and the square brackets with goodbye. But if we run this, we actually get goodbye, 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 goodbye inside of square brackets, and then good, what, world, good, blah, blah. Not even gonna try to pronounce that. But the reason it does this is because the, the square brackets in regular expressions Anything that falls inside of that is considered a range of characters. So it's gonna replace every H, every E, every L, and every O with goodbye. And so what we can do here on line 41 is we can escape the square brackets with the backslash. And there we get exactly what we expected. And if you're not sure what characters need to be escaped, here on line 44, we can use the regex escape method to automatically escape the hello string. So if I just, for instance, highlight this section right here and run just this part of it, we get that same backslash on the square bracket. And you notice it doesn't it doesn't escape the second square bracket, and that's because the since the first one is escaped, the second one does not need to be. But what's nice is the regex escape method knows this, and we don't have to remember which one. So if we run line 44, we get the same output as we did when we ran line 41. But what's also really cool about using the replace operator is that we can use regular expression groups to match, capture, and then replace. So here on lines 50 through 52, I've got several examples. Hello world, you sexy beast. Hi world, now go away. Hello earth, you are lovely today. And what we wanna do is we wanna swap them so that we have you sexy beast, comma, hello world. So you can see that down below line 55. So we can do that with regular expressions. Let's look at an example. So here on line 60, I have hello world, comma, you sexy beast. 
I'm gonna go ahead and assign that to the string variable. And then using regular expression groups on line 61, so the group uh, is using the parentheses, so everything inside a, a set of parentheses is a group, uh, we can replace the everything that's in front of the comma with everything that's after the comma. And you'll notice I'm using what looks like PowerShell variables. And these, in regular expressions, these are called back references, though I like to keep referring to them as regular expression variables. And so the dollar sign one references the first group in the regular expression, dollar sign two is the second, and you can have more if you had more groups. So dollar sign one represents everything that's in front of the comma. And so if we run this, we now get you sexy beast, hello world. And if using numbers gets confusing, because it always does for me, we can give each group a name. So here on line 65, you'll notice inside of the parentheses, I have a question mark followed by a string that's inside of angle brackets. So I have first underscore part and second underscore part. And then in the replacement string, I'm referencing each of those with a dollar sign and then curly braces. And, you, and those will be the values that are inside of the parentheses in the regular expression. And so if we look at this, this is actually doing the same thing as on line 61, but we are naming the regular expression groups to make it a little easier to understand. So if we go ahead and run this, we get the same exact output. It just makes a little more sense to people like me that like, that like to have named variables instead of numbers. So as you can see, PowerShell gives you several options for replacing text inside of strings. Thank you for watching.